Remember Lance Naik Hanuman Thappa for whom the entire country was praying. He was rescued from 35 feet beneath the snow in minus 45 degrees centigrade temperatures six days after an avalanche hit an Indian Army post in Siachen at an altitude of 19,600 feet. What? He didn't survive. But, you know, perhaps he could have if he was wearing what India's premier rocket lab, ISRO, has manufactured now. That's the world's lightest material. NETV Science Editor Pallava Bagla reports. Perched on a flower, this is the world's lightest known material, sometimes also called frozen smoke. Scientists at ISRO have now made it in India and are hoping not just to insulate rocket engines with it, they say it can also be used in jackets and footwear in very low temperatures. This is the world's uh, lightest uh, synthetic material made by man. It's a very much guarded technology, this one. And we are indigenously made, made in India. This is extremely useful for people working in that very, very, very cold environment in a very strategic way. For instance, had he been wearing fabric made out of this material, Lance Naik Hanumantapa Kopad may have survived his several day ordeal in sub zero temperatures after he was buried in an avalanche in Siachen. This ultra light material can be used to make lightweight clothing. If painted on windows, it can keep buildings cool or hot. The matrix of aerogel is made of 99% air. It is likely to be used in India's moon rover in the Chandrayaan-2 mission. The material is still very fragile and brittle and scientists at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center are still finding ways to make it tough and resilient. I am holding in my hand silica aerogel, the lightest synthetic material ever made by man. This is a highly guarded technology and now ISRO has mastered making it. This can well be deployed in creating insulating surfaces and material for our soldiers who live in high altitudes like at Siachen. If only Hanuman Tapa and his team had materials like this, maybe they would have survived the avalanche. With camera person S.P. Babu in Tiruvananthapuram, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.